Here I have a fairly basic uh, composition with some Plexus animation on it. Uh, it's just a few lights uh, driven by a, a color map and there's a camera expert of, uh, of Cinema 4D. So it's fairly basic and there's a, there's a couple of renders here that are rendered out from uh, C4D. It's just a 3D animation and I also got a depth map here. Now a depth map, almost every 3D program now exports a depth map uh, in which the color of the pixel indicates the depth uh, of, of the object in that render. So for example, in, in this one here, the dark pixels, the darker the pixels are, the closer they are to the camera. And the further away, the brighter, uh, the, the brighter the pixels are in the depth map. So this is uh, fairly uh, basic. I'm just gonna go to my Plexus Comp and I'm just gonna select this one and import this here. And now you see there's like an overlay of the plexus sort of thing. Now in version two, you would have to rotoscope it, and you know it's a, it's a painful uh, rotoscoping to uh, to animate it to plexus. But now you can use the depth map. Uh, for example, I'm just gonna import the depth map here. And you see the depth map. Let me just turn off the visibility so you don't see the depth map in the comp. Now go to your Plexus layer, just go to Plexus directly, and here in the visibility settings, now you need to have your uh, unified uh, render in ring turning uh, turn on for this to work. So make sure it's turned on, and then go to your depth map and select the depth map that you rendered out of Cinema 4D or 3D application for your choice. Now this is all wonky here because like I mentioned before, uh, in the depth map here, the closest pixels are darker, whereas the further away, they're lighter. So we make sure we need to adjust that here. So the white pixels, the further away, so let's put it at 5,000, that's depth. You can adjust the values to whatever you want, and the dark pixels are closest to, let's put it to zero. Now, you can see uh, there's like an overlap here. Like some pixels are included within Plexus, but some are not. Uh, it's very easy to composite. It's fairly, it's, it saves a lot of time so that you don't have to order this code. But let me turn off the renders here so you only see Plexus. So this is how uh, selectively Plexus is getting included based on the depth map. And when you just composite, so here, since uh, it's further away, uh, no pixels are being occluded, whereas here, only a few are being occluded. So when you turn back on the rendering, you get this nice uh, composited animation. So this is how depth map calling works in Plexus 3.